Welcome to our channel, The Horror Hive, where we delve into the scariest and most spine-tingling stories from across the United States. In this video, we're going to take a journey through every state in alphabetical order, exploring the most well-known crimes that have sent shivers down the spines of millions of people. Alabama, the 1931 Scottsboro Boys trial in Alabama, saw nine African-American teenagers falsely accused of rape, leading to a series of trials rife with racism and injustice. Their convictions were eventually overturned by the Supreme Court. In 1963, four members of the KKK bombed Birmingham's 16th Street Baptist Church, killing four young girls and injuring many more. These tragic events exposed the inequalities and violence of the Jim Crow era and became turning points in the civil rights movement. Alaska In Alaska, the most notorious crime is the story of Robert Hansen, also known as the Butcher Baker. Hansen abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women in the wilderness of Alaska between 1971 and 1983. Arizona the murder of Travis Alexander by his ex-girlfriend Jody Arias shook the nation. Arias was found guilty of first-degree murder for stabbing and shooting Alexander multiple times in his home in Mesa, Arizona. Arkansas The unsolved case of the Texarkana Moonlight Murders has haunted the town since 1946. The killer attacked eight people, killing five during the span of several weeks before vanishing without a trace. California, the notorious case of the Golden State Killer shocked the nation. Joseph James D'Angelo was responsible for at least 50 rapes and 13 murders across California in the 1970s and 1980s. Colorado, the mass shooting at Columbine High School in 1999, where two students killed 12 classmates and one teacher, remains one of the deadliest school shootings in U.S. history. Connecticut, the Cheshire home invasion, where two men brutally murdered a mother and her two daughters in their home in Cheshire, Connecticut, sent shockwaves throughout the state and the nation. Delaware, the murder of Anne Marie Fahey by her boss, Thomas Capano, a prominent attorney in Delaware, was one of the most high-profile cases in the state's history. Florida, Ted Bundy, one of the most notorious serial killers in U.S. history, was responsible for at least 30 murders across seven states, including Florida. He was eventually caught and executed in Florida in 1989. Georgia, the Atlanta child murders, where at least 28 children and young adults were killed between 1979 and 1981, remains one of the most notorious cases in Georgia's history. Hawaii, the murder of Dana Ireland, a 23-year-old woman who was brutally raped and killed on Christmas Eve in 1991 shocked the tight-knit community of Hawaii and led to one of the largest manhunts in state history. Idaho, the disappearance of two children, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow in Idaho in 2019, captured national attention and led to the discovery of their bodies in a remote area in 2020. The children's mother and her new husband were charged with their murder. Illinois, the unsolved case of the Chicago Tylenol murders in 1982 where seven people died after taking cyanide-laced Tylenol led to one of the largest recalls in U.S. history and changed the way products are packaged. Indiana, the murder of Sylvia Likens, a 16-year-old girl who was tortured and killed by her caregiver and the caregiver's children, sent shockwaves throughout Indiana and the nation. Iowa, the Velisca Axe murders, where eight people were brutally killed with an axe in their home in Velisca, Iowa, remains one of the most notorious unsolved crimes in U.S. history. Kansas, the BTK killer Dennis Rader, was one of the most infamous serial killers in U.S. history. He killed 10 people in the Wichita area between 1974 and 1991 and taunted police and media with letters detailing his crimes. Kentucky, the murder of Bardstown police officer Jason Ellis in 2013 shocked the small town and remains unsolved to this day. Ellis was ambushed while removing debris from a highway exit ramp. Louisiana, the murder of Huey P. Long, a former governor of Louisiana and U.S. Senator, remains one of the most high-profile cases in the state's history. 
Long was shot and killed in the Louisiana State Capitol in 1935. Maine, the disappearance of Kimberly Moreau in 1986, a 17-year-old girl who vanished after leaving her home in Jay, Maine, remains one of the state's most high-profile missing persons cases. Maryland, the Beltway sniper attacks in 2002, where 10 people were killed and three others injured in a series of random shootings in the Washington, D.C. area, sent shockwaves throughout Maryland and the nation. Massachusetts, the Boston Strangler who killed 13 women in the Boston area between 1962 and 1964, remains one of the most notorious serial killers in U.S. history. The case remains unsolved to this day. Michigan, the Oakland County child killer where four children were abducted and murdered in Oakland County, Michigan between 1976 and 1977, remains one of the most high-profile unsolved cases in the state's history. Minnesota, the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin in 2020, sparked nationwide protests and a renewed conversation about police brutality and racial injustice. Mississippi, the murder of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old African-American boy who was brutally beaten and killed in 1955 after allegedly whistling at a white woman, galvanized the civil rights movement and remains a haunting symbol of racial violence. Missouri, the murder of Bobby Jo Stinnett, who was strangled and had her baby cut from her womb in Skidmore, Missouri in 2004, shocked the nation and led to a high-profile trial and conviction. Montana, the murder of Forrest Clayton Salcedo, a three-year-old boy who was beaten to death by his father in 2017, sent shockwaves throughout Montana and led to changes in the state's child welfare system. Nebraska, the disappearance of Brandon Tina, a transgender man who was raped and murdered in Humboldt, Nebraska in 1993, galvanized the LGBTQ plus community and led to increased awareness of hate crimes against transgender individuals. Nevada, the murder of Tupac Shakur, a hip-hop legend who was shot and killed in Las Vegas in 1996, remains one of the most high-profile unsolved cases in U.S. history. New Hampshire, the Bear Brook murders, where four bodies were discovered in barrels in Bear Brook State Park in 1985 and 2000, remains one of the most notorious unsolved cases in New Hampshire's history. New Jersey, the Lindbergh kidnapping, where the infant son of famous aviator Charles Lindbergh was abducted from his home in Hopewell, New Jersey in 1932, remains one of the most high-profile cases in U.S. history. New Mexico, the murder of Gurley Chu Hassenkoff by her husband and his mistress in 1999 shocked the state and led to one of the most high-profile trials in New Mexico's history. New York, the son of Sam Killings, where David Berkowitz killed six people and wounded seven others in New York City between 1976 and 1977, terrorized the city and captured the nation's attention. Berkowitz claimed that his neighbor's dog instructed him to commit the murders. North Carolina, the murder of Michael Jordan's father, James R. Jordan, in 1993 shocked the basketball superstar in the nation. Two men were later convicted of the crime. North Dakota, the murder of college student Drew Shoden in 2003 shocked the small town of Grand Forks and led to changes in the state's sex offender registry laws. Ohio, the Cleveland Torso murders where at least 12 people were killed and dismembered between 1935 and 1938 remains one of the most notorious unsolved cases in U.S. history. Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995 where Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols detonated a truck bomb in front of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building killed 168 people and remains one of the deadliest acts of domestic terrorism in U.S. history. Oregon, the murder of Kyron Horman, a seven-year-old boy who disappeared from his school in Portland in 2010, remains one of the most high-profile missing persons cases in the state's history. Pennsylvania, the murder of four men by Cosmo DiNardo and his cousin in Bucks County in 2017, shocked the state and led to one of the most high-profile trials in Pennsylvania's history. Rhode Island, the Station Nightclub Fire in 2003, where 100 people were killed and 230 injured in a fast-spreading blaze during a Great White concert, remains one of the deadliest nightclub disasters in U.S. history. 
South Carolina, the murder of nine African-American churchgoers by Dylan Roof at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston in 2015 shocked the nation and led to a renewed conversation about racism and gun violence. South Dakota, the murder of Annie Mae Aquash, a Native American activist in 1975, remains a haunting symbol of the violence and injustices faced by indigenous people in the U.S. Tennessee. The murder of Martin Luther King Jr. in Memphis in 1968 shocked the nation and galvanized the civil rights movement. Texas, the murder of 33 people at Fort Hood by Army psychiatrist Nidal Hassan in 2009 remains one of the deadliest mass shootings in U.S. history. Utah, the murder of Elizabeth Smart, a 14-year-old girl who was kidnapped from her home in Salt Lake City in 2002 and held captive for nine months, shocked the nation and led to increased awareness of child abduction and recovery. Vermont, the murder of Courtney Gaboriault, a University of Vermont student who was killed by her ex-boyfriend in 2009, shocked the small town of Burlington and led to changes in the state's domestic violence laws. Virginia, the Virginia Tech shooting in 2007, where a student killed 32 people and wounded 17 others before taking his own life, remains one of the deadliest school shootings in U.S. history. Washington, the murder of Susan Powell, a mother of two who disappeared from her home in West Valley City, Utah in 2009 and is believed to have been killed by her husband in Washington State, remains one of the most high-profile missing persons cases in the Pacific Northwest. West Virginia, the murder of Mamie Thurman, who was found stabbed to death on a West Virginia hillside in 1932, remains one of the most notorious unsolved cases in the state's history. Wisconsin, the murder of Teresa Halbach, a photographer who was killed by Stephen Avery in 2005, led to one of the most high-profile trials in Wisconsin's history and was the subject of the popular Netflix documentary series, Making a Murderer. Wyoming, the murder of Matthew Shepard, a gay college student who was beaten and left to die tied to a fence in Laramie in 1998, shocked the nation and led to renewed calls for hate crime legislation. While each state has its own unique history and culture, they all have a dark side. These crimes are just a small glimpse into the atrocities that have occurred throughout our country's history. They serve as a reminder that we must remain vigilant and work towards a safer, more just society.